Hey everyone, welcome to our September edition of our bait shop video series for River Rock Inn and Hudson's On The Spot Guide Service. I'm Jim Hudson and you know, we're here in the middle of September right now, I'll kind of push this bait shop series uh, video back a little bit to the middle of the month because we wanted to talk about uh, some trolling options that we have starting right now and in, into October. Um, a lot of stuff going on in September, but this trolling option for our salmon species here in the Schwamigan Bay and Apostle Islands region really has a big following. A lot of people like to come do it because it's near shore. You can do it in a small boat, large boat, doesn't really matter. Everyone can get into it, including shore fishermen. You can put on a pair of waders, cast some spoons, some stick baits, stuff like that, and catch these fish so they're readily available for any fisherman that comes to this area. You know, lake trout, sometimes smallmouth you need a bigger boat to do a lot of this stuff so um, with the salmon it's right tight to shore and uh, a lot of people can do it so it's really really uh, popular so on that I thought we'd put it put together this video uh, showing uh, the areas that we fish for these salmon the presentations that we use for the salmon and the lure choices that we use for the salmon um, and get you guys ready to uh, head out there and catch some salmon coming up here in the next few days. Well, right now it's the third week of September, and from this weekend until about the second to third weekend in October is the time frame that you want to be doing this. The cohos especially are our most populated uh, salmon species here in our area, and right now they're coming in. There's some already in the rivers, but the majority of them are coming in to stage getting ready to go up into the rivers and spawn. Um, so we are catching some right now, um, not huge numbers, you know, like we'll go out and catch two to five fish a night, um, which is fun. You know, you're doing this in about three, four hours, but as it rolls on now, you have chances at catching a lot more fish than that, sometimes up to 10, 15 of these fish. So, uh, so right now is the time. And uh, when we're talking about where we're gonna go fish for these, fish species we're talking about the streams that these fish are going to run into so you got the pikes the onion the sioux the whittle sea and fish creek are the main streams that these fish are going to go into so if you take these areas what areas around the streams that we want to concentrate on well from now until the end um, i can tell you in the early morning we'll want to be up really shallow a lot of these fish are moving in the shallow waters checking the streams uh, and all that kind of stuff. So shallow, what I mean is five feet to 10 feet of water. And uh, you know, in the early morning as the sun's coming up until about eight o'clock, that's where you wanna be. After that, a lot of these fish are gonna be moved into anywhere deeper than 10 feet, but most of the time, it's gonna be in about 30 to 60 feet of water where we're gonna look at that. So our presentations for these time periods, or the time periods during the day are going to going to change. So with that we can talk about the presentations that we're going to use. And first we'll talk about the shallow water presentation. What are we going to use in really shallow? Now all these different, all the shallow water and deeper portions we want to talk about um, what we what we use to deploy our presentations first and our lures. So we're going to talk about downriggers, we're going to talk about lead core, dipsies, and flat lines. And uh, we can use each of those in both the shallow and deep water. Um, and when we're talking about lures, we're gonna talk about fast moving, very erratic baits on these presentations. So in that shallow water, what we're looking for is my, one of my best presentations is using a small dipsy diver, a walker deeper diver like this. Um, this is a size 65 from walker deeper diver. I can get this down in, in five feet of water with 30, uh, feed a line out on uh, my my uh, dipsy diver rig, but this is really really hot. They these fish really get uh, attracted to the sound of the motor as it's running. So stuff that's really close, real shallow, they come up and they smack it hard. And and uh, when you catch one on this type of presentation in that shallow water, it's really good. But uh, also you're talking about flat line trolling. You're just using planter boards with mono uh, on mono trolling trolling rod and reels. Um, letting out, you know, anywhere from 30 out to, uh, you know, sometimes 80 to 100 feet of line, depending on the type of lure that you're using. Um, so we're incorporating that, and then shallow 
uh, lead core presentations. We're using one to three color of lead presentations, um, which we call segmented lead core. Um, if you haven't heard of that before, basically what it is is one color of lead is 30 feet of line. And usually at two miles an hour, that'll put your lure down about five feet. But we're gonna be running about 2.5 to three miles an hour so we can get away with three colors of lead, which will put everything down right around that 10 foot mark. Because the faster you go with lead core, the farther it rises up in the water column. So you gotta take that into consideration. It's speed dependent, but that one to three color rig, so basically what that is, is you're basically taking your rod and reel, you got lead core on here and putting one to three colors on there. And uh, you know, just so you're talking 30 feet, so three colors is 90 feet of this lead core. Um, and then you just put a leader material on. I'm using like 14 pound mono for leader and just terminate it to a snap. Um, again, I'm using that on planter boards and I'm running it straight line off the boat as well. And then downriggers, um, using just a mono downrigger rod, usually 14 pound test with either a spoon or a flasher and fly on that. And uh, we'll get into that as, as we get into the lures. But what I do in that shallow water, I usually put 30 to 60 feet behind, behind my downrigger uh, snap and then uh, for more stealthy presentation, but then uh, just put that down. Like I said though, a lot of times in that shallow water, that motor really attracts these fish and they'll come right up next to the boat and hit stuff. So don't be afraid to put 10, 15 feet behind the, the downrigger itself to catch some of these fish. Just like these gypsies, they're only out 30 feet from the boat and they're hitting it. And that's some of the most exciting uh, hits that you're gonna get. So now as the day goes on, we're going out deeper. And uh, we're gonna use the same type of things, but we're just gonna lower everything. But one thing I want to talk about is we want to target the top half of the water column no matter where we're at. We're in 30 feet of water. I'm usually, the deepest I'm down is 15 feet. If, uh, am I, if I'm in 60 feet of water, the deepest I'm down is usually 30 feet. Usually that's where these fish are prowling um, at any time of the day. And uh, that's you know basically what I've fallen through fishing out here. So halfway down the water column when you get in that deep. So what are we going to use? We use lead core again. We're going to use downriggers again, um, flatline trolling um, with deeper diving plugs, and then uh, you know dipsy divers. So now we're going to move over to our, our uh, deeper side of our, our dipsy divers. These little bit bigger um, size one dipsy diver, and then the, the same size for uh, water deeper. Divers. And we can get these easily down into that. All the way up to five. You know, five color rig they call a half core, five colors of lead. Um, really is key in that area, I think. I get a lot of fish on a five color rig. Um, you know, just spool up a couple of reels. I usually carry two five color rigs and I uh, mix them into my arsenal, and those are usually the key uh, presentations to catch fish in that deeper water. Especially right now, we just got in, um, just got done fishing. And that's what really took the fish is that five color rig. And on that, I like to put a flasher and fly on one or a dodger and a fly sometimes, and then uh, a spoon. So now that segues into the lures that we're gonna use to catch these salmon. So you got the presentations down, you know, lead core, dipsy divers, uh, regular straight line planter boards, and then your downriggers and uh, um, you're, you're set with that. So lure wise, like I said, mentioned earlier in this video, erratic. You want stuff that stands out, moves fast, um, really triggers these fish to come and check it out and bite it. Um, th these fish aren't really interested in feeding. They're more, uh, you're, you're more really ticking them off to them and use flashy colors, hot colors we like to call them, and things that move very erratic. So for crankbaits, shad type baits, like this uh, shallow shad wrap, Berkeley flicker shad, stuff that really moves fast, has a high pitched rattle, really works good. Jointed, jointed baits like this jointed Rapala, really moves erratically through the water. This is a J9. This fluorescent white color is one of my favorite colors out here, or the orange. Um, really moves fast, um, triggers these fish into biting. These baits work really good in that shallow water, but also out over that deeper water. 
put on lead core and getting them down in the water column. Um, now one of my best presentations I catch most of my coals out here is a small Lure Jensen Dodger with a short peanut fly behind it. That's a Howie peanut fly, but I've done good with uh, regular horse flies or opti flies, uh, regular size flies behind it too, but these peanut flies are, I catch a lot of them behind this double O Dodger. I'll usually run anywhere from three to four of these in my spread when I'm uh, when I'm working these fish and they account for a lot of a lot of the a lot of the fish I catch especially on that five color rig in that deeper water you can also use a larger um, flasher fly presentations um, that that we use for kings because there'll be a few kings around too you know, I've got this big Opti flasher on there associated associated with just a, a regular fly back here. Um, and I usually use that as my deepest rig when I'm uh, in that deep water and I pick up both kings and bulls. Again, kings are your, uh, you know, they're, they're not as populated out here, but you do catch a few, but that'll catch coals as well. And then spoons at three and a half to four inch range really really um, bright colors work really good um, and then you know like that that orange oranges greens um, pinks all that kind of stuff work really good so pretty simple a um, lot of things to put in the water but if you remember just put all that stuff together in a V vertical V uh, presentation your lower your, your lowest ones closest to the boat and then V and out as your shallow ones away from the boat so then you can call fish in and as they move out they can see other presentations you'll be catching cohos and kings out here uh, very regularly again stop in at River Rock Inn uh, check check our website for the latest fishing reports on what's going on out here stop into the shop to see the latest lures the hottest lures that we're using to catch these fish out here and just a chit chat about general fishing and hunting knowledge that we have here in the Shawamigan Bay and Apostle Islands region. So until next time, go out, catch some salmon. They're great on the grill, great eating. So good fishing, and we'll see you next time.